People should go to my play because I think it's going to be unlike anything else there. I think the subject matter is going to be fairly unique. I think the way that I tackle it is fairly unique. And because I think it's a really, really interesting, unique, and often hilarious and heartbreaking show. I think I think it encompasses a wide range of human emotions that regardless of upbringing or spiritual inclination, um, it can be related to by pretty much anybody. And I think there's something in it for everybody. And I think there are things that people will find funny no matter what. I think that ultimately it's an engaging show that will leave people uh, asking questions as they drive home. Hi, I'm Dan Prevett. I'm the writer and performer of Missionary Positions, a solo show. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, watch the rest of this interview. I had had the idea for a concept called Missionary Positions for a long time, which I originally had only conceived of as a book. I had planned on writing um, a memoir about my life as an evangelical missionary kid. Um, I knew in talking to people throughout my experience, I'll, I'll go back quickly and I'll say this. When I started doing stand up, I had a number of experiences when I was really young, when I was in my early 20s, where I would get on stage and I would tell jokes about different parts of my life, or I would make jokes about being really big or really tall or whatever. And I would make all these jokes. And then I would go have conversations with people and I would start talking to them about my upbringing. And every once in a while, somebody would be like, why don't you talk about this? And I was just like, oh, I don't know. I didn't, I, I didn't think it was interesting to other people. But I think the truth is I just didn't know how to talk about it. When I was in my early 20s, I didn't have the, the taste or the craft or the sense of self, the sense of confidence to confidently approach my own story with any kind of artistic point of view. That took time to develop as I performed in other ways over the course of my 20s. Um, like a lot of people in their late 20s, the thing that forced me to write the show, I think, was ultimately an existential crisis. I had been pursuing fairly traditional acting in Los Angeles for a long time as a commercial actor. I had done a number of independent projects, indie films, web series, but I really was not gaining any kind of traction as a performer. And I was very quickly losing passion and steam for continuing to be an actor. Um, despite the encouragement and love of a lot of really good friends and other creative people that I admired and respected, I was just very quickly losing hope in myself being able to make any kind of artistic life for myself. I decided to uh, leave my agency and stop acting when I was about 29 years old, which I believe was the right decision. And it also left me with this point of like, well, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do with my life? Because I'm a bartender and I'm 29. So there's quite possibly a lot of years left to live and I don't know what to do with them. And this idea of writing this memoir uh, missionary positions kind of returned to me and was like, well, maybe you should really give writing a try. You've never really tried to be a writer. And honestly, I made a post, I, I made a joking post on social media about, I'm going to start writing my, my tell all memoir about my missionary upbringing, missionary positions. And my now director commented underneath it and said, you should consider doing this as a show. And it was really that comment that was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's allowed. I guess I don't need anybody to hire me to do that. And it would be way shorter than writing a book. <laughs> so, okay. And I met with her and I started talking to her and developing the process with her. And it very naturally started to grow out of that. Once I started watering the idea of like, missionary positions as a solo show, it took root and started to grow naturally. Missionary positions is my autobiographical story. My name is Dan. I'm a recovering evangelical. Um, I was born to parents who were already committed to become Christian missionaries. 
Um, very quickly after I was born, we moved to Bangkok, Thailand. We then lived in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. We lived in Bucharest, Romania for a time in my high school years. And I lived in America for a few years in there just to keep me relatable. The subject of the, of the show has mostly to do with fundamentalist religiosity, fundamentalist Christianity, and the effects that that can have on a young life. The subtitle of the show is Missionary Positions, A Recovering Christian's Guide to Getting Lost, because I was raised with, what, with such a strong distinction between people being saved or people being lost. And the show is really about my personal discovery and my moving away from fundamentalist religion and away from conservative evangelicalism, away from Christianity as I knew it at all and becoming lost. And in becoming lost, ultimately finding a sense of, of freedom and spiritual depth beyond anything that had ever been presented to me while I was strictly Christian. What do I want the audience to get out of the play? My hope is that my audience will leave missionary positions feeling a broader sense of hope, a broader sense of peace that no matter where they are in life, they are not lost and they are perhaps exactly where they need to be. I want them to leave with a sense of community and with a sense that no matter what they're going through, they're not going through it alone. I want people to leave uh, talking about certain more controversial themes in the show. And I want people to leave repeating the jokes that they like the best. I think the thing that will surprise the audience the most is that while I certainly pull no punches in regards to the evangelical church as I knew it growing up, and I am a lover of really, really letting um, conservative American Christianity have it. And I, I really... Uh, have no qualms about offending that particular tribe because that is the tribe that raised me. So I feel that is my birthright. But I think the thing that will surprise the audience the most is that it is not a it is not a hateful, angry show. And I do not intend to leave anybody with a notion of rage or indignation or a desire for vengeance. I think the most surprising thing about it is that I am authentically somebody who believes that I did get well and truly lost. I'm a backslider. I have fallen away from the Christianity I was raised with. Many of my peers from my childhood would not consider me a Christian, but I still have a very, very open spiritual and frankly, theological orthodoxy that allows me to engage with the world as a spiritual person in a very, very open and honest way. People should go to my play because I think it's going to be unlike anything else there. I think the subject matter is going to be fairly unique. I think the way that I tackle it is fairly unique. And because I think it's a really, really interesting, unique, and often hilarious and heartbreaking show. I think I think it encompasses a wide range of human emotions that regardless of upbringing or spiritual inclination, um, it can be related to by pretty much anybody. And I think there's something in it for everybody. And I think there are things that people will find funny no matter what. I think that ultimately it's an engaging show that will leave people uh, asking questions as they drive home. My hopes and dreams for this production are far and wide. Of course, I feel like I have all of the stereotypical hopes and dreams, but my very, very tangible hope and dream for this show is I would love to do a tour of missionary positions through a pretty good portion of the American Bible Belt. I would love to take this show to the Midwest, to the South, to the parts of the country where I have lived and where so many of my friends have lived or still live, where evangelical Christianity is still such a prominent spirituality and honestly, probably always will be. And the show is not about dissolving that or destroying that. 
My hope is that I can bring the show to other people like me who were disillusioned and broken and hurting and offer a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of inspiration and maybe a fun, entertaining night of theater that leaves them saying, I'm going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. My name is Dan Prevett, and my show is Missionary Positions, A Recovering Christian's Guide to Getting Lost. You can find all tickets at dandoeswords.com slash show. Your soul is fine. Save your seat.